Welcome back everybody, Holiday Doc here, and I just want to say thank you for all the support and the great comments on my Machinima videos these last couple days. I really appreciate everything you guys are saying about me, and it's, it just goes to show you I got a great subscriber group. Now I really want to upload this video because I really failed hard on my last jungle domination map. I didn't have a full team, so I was trying the typical Modern Warfare 2 style of play, you know, get all the kills and you'll win. Doesn't work in this game. You really got to be a team player. And this kind of video is going to show you exactly how I switch it up and bring in the victory. So let's get started right now. And, uh, yeah, you're going to see me go right through and pass through A but not stick around because we really want to make a strong push for B. Now, these, this is a pub room because I've been having a lot of troubles getting people to stay in pubs or in uh, MLG scrims lately. People, not everyone just backs out. And right here, I pause it on B, like I did on A, and then pushed up past. That's the most important part of domination, is getting two guys on the flag, and then the rest are pushing up past to stop those nades, and stop the people from coming in and shooting you while you're on flag. You're very vulnerable, right? So you gotta make sure that your team is working together and pushing past the flags at all points. Now throughout this map, I'm gonna stick around heavily in the middle type of area, and position myself in B and try to stick around the middle to make sure that you know we're always going for the two caps and never kind of getting greedy. We do try to spawn swap a couple times here because we really feel that A is the better spawn trap. The guy kind of failed but <laughs> like I was saying A is the better spawn trap and uh, we felt like if we got C we would be able to you know really hold down the map a lot better and I really haven't decided what is what is personally I like better whether it's C or A and I'm sure it's going to even out here in the next little bit and I'll be able to really drive in some great strategies towards these maps and everything like that and you know RA noob was our B man he was on that like like white on rice the whole game he was going to be he would die he'd go back to B that is so important to have somebody dedicated to that middle map or that middle flag is extremely important. Domination, there's no spawn time, spawn timer. Um, in, comp in competitive play, there is spawn timer, but you know, for pubs, it plays slightly different, but still fairly similar. Um, so, you know, like I said, it was hard getting some scrims. So it's definitely. It, I'm trying to get you guys some competitive play. It's just a little bit rough right now. Obviously, the new baby. <laughs> but that's not an excuse. I got some good stuff coming. Um, Dr. Disrespect, Double Trouble, and myself, we are on the Optic Gaming League, and I've got a competitive game coming out for you on that in the next couple days. So look forward to that. And, uh, you know, what else? You know, what, what have I really learned about, you know, positioning in this game so far? Well, obviously, uh, your gun choice is going to, you know, dictate your kills and your stuff like that. If you're using a medium range gun, obviously you need to stick fairly close to the enemies. You don't want to be off trying to be a sniper with your Fermaz. It just doesn't work in this game. And, uh, you know, being a short range player and everything like that, you got to really adjust your classes correctly. I, I was eating bullets in this game, it seems like, eh? And uh, a little bit about the teams. This is a full team of six I'm with, the OTC guys. And we're up against a full team of five. Well, you know, almost five. Almost full team. And, uh, you know, I never like to upload pub videos where it's, you know, just a pub stomp. But uh, I, f I felt this this was a good game. This was back and forth. You know, they'd cap a flag on us. We'd go back. We'd secure it. We'd set up correctly. And it looked good. And it played very well. So these are the types of the games that I like to bring you guys. And hopefully you enjoy it. And, uh, yeah, he's in the corner. What can you do? What can you do, right? Anyways, moving back on to the strategic sort of <laughs> topics sticking on B very important pushing up but not too far there's it seems like spawns in this game are very sporadic now one guy can fully swap the spawns on this game so you really got to be careful so right here they started spawning over so my immediate reaction is to go clear out anybody that's here and then move in and cap C while they're capping A you know we like we said we were trying out trying to get them over to A and for defending B I think it's a good idea. However, they can really sneak up on you hard coming up the pathway backside to C on on little bridge and backside hut. You know, you really got to watch out for that. And these middle rocks here, nice little jump shot. 
so you, you got to be careful. And on this left side, you need somebody dedicated to watching that left hand side. If you can hold down to a B, and then make sure any stragglers that get you can you have a full line of sight to see them going up over to to the C pathway on Little Hut there and Top Ridge. So you know, as long as you call it out and somebody's able to float over there, I think you're going to be good to go. Uh, kill streaks are very important in this game. You know, they don't stack on each other, so you got to be careful. You're using you're not all using the same, obviously the same uh, kill streaks. And uh, uh, lately, I've been running without gunships or chopper gunners, just because I've been trying to really play more of, a, of an objective type of a player. So obviously, I'm not going to be trying to stick alive for that 11 kill streak. So I want to be more useful. Grab that UAV. Grab those um, the napalm strikes. And napalm strikes in this game are devastating. They can really hold down a, an entire half of the map for you for a good 20 seconds. And uh, until people really start running Flat Jacket Pro, you know, I really see um, Napalm as being a, a great kill streak in headquarters, domination, and CTF. Like, that is, it just cuts off the map completely. So if you know where they're spawning, you got a UAV up, or a spy plane rather, you're able to cut off the enemy from getting anywhere near you. You can make sure that the nades don't get off, and you can push up far enough so that you're, you're getting the cutoffs and everything like that. So, yeah, you know, I, I love this game. I I know a lot of people have really strayed away from it so far and are very irritated, and I don't understand it. You know, th this game, Visionaire, this is a quote from him himself. Um, good shout out to him, too. He's a, he's a great guy. Good guys to play with OTC. And uh, I think that's what making this game so enjoyable. Midget King, I love you, too. No homo. <laughs> but Visionaire said to me the other day, this game rewards gun skill. I truly agree with that statement. Um, if you have the advantage or the better gun skill, you're going to get the kills. You know, this game doesn't reward the one-man army noob tubers anymore. And I think that's why we're seeing such a decline in the online um I guess statistics, you know, the amount of people online at any given time, it's definitely decreasing. It could be to do with the, the very shitty matchmaking, <laughs> but I think it has more to do with this, that this game is hard. And it's not super hard, it's just harder than Modern Warfare 2. So people, people got accustomed to going in a room with a UMP stopping power and dropping 40-50 kills a game. This game, it's a little more difficult. You need to be very strategic, you need teammates to watch your back. Uh, I don't know what you guys think about that. I'd love to hear your comments on it and everything like that. Another thing, I've got two more, well, probably three more planned class setup vids. And, you know, I want you guys to decide what you would like to see tomorrow. So if you'd like to see the regular game battle setups, post that down below in a comment. Just let me know. We'll do, like, kind of a voting process. Or if you would like to see... Um, pub room leveling classes that I use and my personal kind of best of what I kind of think works then let me know as well in the votes below and I'll release that video tomorrow and hopefully it uh, does as well as my Mono Warfare 2 videos I think I've got 500,000 views on those videos which isn't bad but for a, for a little guy like me that's significant and uh, <coughs> excuse me I uh, I appreciate all the support lately you know, having a family now, well, always having a family, but adding a, an addition. We've got the four clan going on now. <laughs> but uh, thanks for checking out the video, guys. More coming. And I really hope you guys enjoy what I'm doing with Black Ops. I hope to see you guys again. And, yeah. Take care. Holiday Doc out of here.